Healthcare specialists from the Army Reserve Medical Command teamed up with veterans organizations to provide medical assistance to homeless and financially struggling veterans of the San Francisco Bay Area. A stand down is a military term used to describe the practice of removing combat troops from the field and taking care of their basic needs. Denver Mills, a psychologist from the Veterans Administration Hospital, started San Francisco's first East Bay stand down in 1988. I knew how effective stand downs were for veterans that were on the street. I knew that these veterans really responded to this type of work and that it, it saved lives. And so I was motivated by the opportunity to save lives. The East Bay stand down is supported by the VA, all branches of the military, and veterans organizations such as the American Legion. Well, a large uh, amount of it came from the Innovative Readiness Training Program with the Office of the Secretary of Defense Reserve Affairs. And that funded all the boots on the ground that we had here from the Joint, uh, joint Forces, primarily led by the U.S. Army Reserve uh, Medical Command. The Army Reserve Medical Command provided most of the tents and the manpower to build the temporary encampment. We have Army Reserve uh, health care providers. Uh, doctors, nurses, podiatrists, optometrists, dentists, who are performing their medical skill uh, by helping to take care of the veterans here at the encampment. Um, it's a very important program for us because it gives our soldiers a chance to do their skills in the real world and it gives us a chance to help our community. Several mobile trailers staffed with dentists provide exams and oral surgery to veterans with a wide range of problems. That was actually up and upper right the upper cuspid and the upper molar that was infected to the point where it needed a root canal or get out, he wanted to get him out. Jerry Irvin, a Vietnam War veteran and a survivor of throat cancer, describes the difficulty of living on the streets. Today, man, I'm blessed just to wake up alive. In my sleep, nobody cut my throat, man. You know, under the bridge is dangerous. The VA estimates that nearly 400,000 veterans are homeless at some point during the year, accounting for 23% of all homeless people. My living situation now is horrible. I'm only looking as well as I look today because of this event they have in here, the stand down. You, you see me, I'll be dirty. My hair wouldn't be cut, I wouldn't be groomed. You know, today, I feel good about myself today. Volunteers offer laundry services, new clothes, and a visit to the barber, beautician, and the chiropractor. Veterans can also receive new ID cards and receive free legal assistance to clear up issues such as unpaid citations. At 1700 every evening, the participants line up in formation for the lowering of the flag. The solemn ceremony of retreat is attended by local and state community leaders such as Congressman Jerry McNerney. You know, no one loves this country more than the men and women who wore the uniform of our country either overseas or here in this United States of America. Right. And you know, after Vietnam, this country made a grave error in not honoring the veterans that served us in that conflict. And I'm here to tell you, we regret that, and we're gonna do everything we can by never letting that happen to this country again. Yeah. Shortly after the ceremony, both the volunteers and the participants shared their impressions of the event. Yes, it has a great deal of significance because you know, I, I don't want to see veterans from my era end up in the same situation a lot of these Vietnam vets have had to, had to go through. It felt good. It was, it was a pleasure to know that some things, of course, have changed, but some things are steady and stable. And it's good to know that flag is stable, you know. That flag is still there for me. Reporting from the San Francisco Bay Area, for the Army Reserve Medical Command, I'm Lieutenant Michael Meyer.